What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and we are back with another episode of Vikings. Today we're going to be Season 2, Episode 5. Yeah, Season 2, Episode 5, right? Let me double check here. I'm pretty sure. No, Episode 6. Ha <laughs> ha! I was wrong. <laughs> Season 2, Episode 6 is here, so we know what's going on, man. With, um... With them getting the bad news about what happened over there um and with Hathleston getting freaking captured or taken or whatever um king horik is over there you know what i'm saying they got ambushed they got ambushed man and ragnar wasn't there because he had to go home and ten you know get back his home and all of that craziness with Jarl Borg is done so and Bjorn decided to stay Lagatha is still gone even though people still caught up in how I pronounce the damn name and I'm like why is the pronunciation of this name so damn important I don't know as that comment went on again um so um to that person keep watching the reactions because i don't think i'm ever going to learn how to pronounce that name properly um you also got to understand that i have a damn accent so the way how i pronounce things might not be the way you want me to pronounce it but it is the way how i can okay based on my understanding of the english language that's how i pronounce the name like i've tried to do it the way you you want me to do it and it's just not working out after, after you know after a while i just go back to what what i'm used to what i'm comfortable with so i'm sorry about that you know what i'm saying even though i'm not really sorry about it because because it's not that big a deal you know what i mean um as long as i know who the characters are you guys you know you know i love the character so that's not shouldn't even be an issue because you know i love the character okay so um but let's talk about what's going on over there the situation with the girl with the scar on his face um atherson having visions of demons and stuff like that there's a conflict going on with him right now that i don't quite understand but i'm guessing as we go along we're going to get a little bit more understanding about what how he's feeling and i'm guess i'm guessing my speculation towards it is that he's having a conflict between the religions that you know him being introduced to to norse and then you know what i'm saying his relationship that he had before that introduction with christianity so that's where his problem is coming in his he's on the fence he's on the fence he doesn't know what to do so hopefully we get a little bit more understanding in this upcoming episode thank you guys for tuning in as always you already know what to do link is down in the description go watch the full reaction come back for the review man highly appreciate it thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys right back here for the review all right man oh man oh man you guys oh my god this episode of Vikings, Season 2, Episode 6, bruh, I can't even, I, I, I don't even know how to start this review because, I mean, the events that took place, like, the whole time where I was like, nah, bro, just, dude, you mess with family, you need to go down you need to go you messing with family and i'm glad that they gave our girl lagatha or whatever lagatha whatever man okay that's my girl you know i love her so the name how i pronounce the name is not that big a deal to me i know what a name i know what it is <laughs> i just can't pronounce it right to make some people satisfactory okay and you can see that is really bugging me that somebody that somebody keeps putting that in the comment section which i just can't understand why they keep doing that because it's just not going to change like my understanding of how i pronounce it is like you you're never going to pronounce some names right because i don't speak like that right but 
in any case, I'm glad that she got her moment. I w- that was the most hype part of the episode for me. Whew, let me calm down. My heart is beating hella fast right now because that was a course of adrenaline if you've never had one. Okay, that episode was straight fire. I loved it. Oh, my God, my God, my God. From, from beginning to end, this episode straight, straight lit flames. Okay, so... Throughout this episode, basically, King Hurry came back with his son, um, you know, telling Ragnar what what happened. They got ambushed. They lost plenty of men. Atherson got getting captured, right? Um, so they showed what has. Let me get the, the minor details out of the situation. Um, Atherson and, and King Edward is, is basically kind of on the same page in a certain way. He's still kind of having trouble you know, still hallucinating and stuff like that. I see that scene where he was seeing blood pouring out of the, you know, the Jesus wounds and seeing blood falling on the paper, which wasn't there, he was hallucinating again, right? His penmanship is amazing. Even, I mean, it unless it wasn't him that was actually writing it, but if it was him, his calligraphy is on point because that type of writing, that's something that you have to practice to do. Like, you can't just write like that. Like, that kind of writing that you see in those old books, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that specific type of font, if you want to call it that, that's something you have to to actually practice. That's something I used to do back earlier on when I was younger, is to practice calligraphy. That's something that we had to do in school, learn how to, to write really, really good, cursive, different types of, you know font if you want to call it that because that's the word that you know most people would use you know what i'm saying so for you to to understand what i'm trying to say different types of writing and stuff like that we had to do that when we were younger because if you guys don't know by now i'm jamaican they don't do that in the in the states like you write out kids just write however they want to write they don't really learn um you know calligraphy in school so that was something we had to learn back home i don't know if they still do it but you know, it's a good skill to have. So that's something you have to practice, practice, practice if you want to get it right, just like anything else. So um, so I was happy to see that. But also, you know, the situation that's going on with knowing about the Rome, the, him talking about the Romans, how they conquered, how they painted those those paints and stuff in the room that he brought him into with the scrolls and stuff. And um, Hathelston, he knows how to, to speak latin or he knows how to read it whatever the situation is so that's pretty cool man um so atheston is now an asset to king edward so at least that'll keep him alive until you know our boys get back over there so back home um in katagat basically um king horik told him hey we need the ships of yarborg so you know i'm saying we got to create this alliance with him again so that but i wasn't with that because I'm like, yo, this dude took your home, put your family in danger, you know what I'm saying? Chase them down to kill them. They lucky they escaped. If Rolo wasn't there, if that dude, that old dude, that told Rolo, yo, go take care of the dude's family, you know, we'll, you know what I'm saying, fall on the sword and give you time to escape. They gave their lives to to for, for Rolo and Oslog and, and the kids to escape and, you know, the rest of the people, Siggy, all of them, right? So, there's no way. I didn't think, I didn't think. That's why I'm like, yo, this dude, this dude is, he has something planned. You know what I'm saying? So, I was glad at the end there. Yo, you don't understand, bro. I was extremely pissed when the guy sent dudes to go and beat up beat up Lagertha. I mean I mean bro like how much of a douche can you be to not even do that for yourself even if you're gonna do it which I don't agree in no place shape or form that you should be hitting women I know back in those times things were different but you couldn't send me to do that you know what I mean so, 
And, and you know, he's just a bitch, man. I, did, I just didn't like him from the first time they introduced him. Just realized that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what he's planning to do or where he's going. You know what I'm saying? At that point in the episode, I didn't know what he was planning to do. I thought he was going to go, you know what I'm saying, go join y'all Borg. But it ended up that most hype, you know, him, he was going to expose Lagertha's tatas. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, come on. That's your wife. You know, and I think the reason why they finished him after Lagertha, Lagertha put the, you know, stabbed him in the eye. I think the reason why they finished him was because of what he was about to do. Because it was like, dude, yeah, we know, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. But still, dude, that's your wife. You were just about to expose her in front of everybody. Like, what, who, what do you think this is? So the disrespect... You know what I'm saying? Like, the disrespect just went a little bit too far, and I think that's why they decided to cut his head off, which I'm extremely happy about. He died, and Yarbor got what's coming to him. Okay, the situation that's developing between Bjorn and his new boo, as you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was a lot of nudity in this episode, too. Like, that that really surprised me with Siggy, and, like, I think this is the first time that, we, I think this is the first time I saw exposed breast in an episode. Like, did something happen? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought this show was on the History Channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's regular cable. You don't show that kind of nudity on regular cable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, you know, we see nudity on, like, you know what I'm saying? HBO, Stars, and, and stuff like that. Like, the History Channel is just regular cable channel like tbs tnt you don't see nudity on those channels so that was kind of surprising to me that they went that far as to show you know what i'm saying breast and and buttocks in this episode i don't think i don't remember seeing anything like that before you know what i'm saying i was like man are they gonna really expose her tatas you know what i'm saying like you, you, i respect her you know what i'm saying like not because you see me here and i'm like you know what I'm saying, so stunned by your beauty and stuff like that, that means I want to see her naked, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just not me, I'm not that type of person, so I'm not sitting here wishing, oh my god, is, are they gonna have a, a naked sex scene or something like that, like, I'm not that type of person, bro, like, you know what I'm saying, like, there's certain women that sometimes you really wish you could see them naked, but at the same time, like, out of respect, people, like, women that I have a crush on, for some reason, I never, like, try to, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not trying to put myself above anybody, because I'm, you know, I'm a man, and, you know, I love women, so I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, like, I've never imagined a woman naked before, like, yes, it happens, but for some reason, when it comes on to women that I have, like, super crushes on, like, I never go there, because it's, like, out of, just, just out of respect, you know what I'm saying, I never really go there, so it's, like, I don't know, the mind block or something like that. So it's like, I don't want to know unless I actually get to see it for myself, like in person, like that's me. So when it comes down to that stuff, it was it that I, 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 oh my God, I, 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 I don't love her, but I'm seriously infatuated with this woman. She's extremely beautiful. Every time she comes on screen, I'm like, yo, come on, man. You guys have got to feel understand what i'm going through and you know what i'm saying like it it just goes like that from, from a, it's not many times you guys see me do that on this channel you know what i'm saying and there's plenty of beautiful women in this in um in a lot of these shows that i watch game of thrones rome and stuff like that like i did that for atia in rome because she like i had a crush on her and i realized she's a bitch <laughs> so yeah but lagertha she's so pure man you know what i'm saying but anyway but she's a savage she's a savage i love her i love her character so much but when it comes on to what happened at the end ragnar is a troll my dude he's a troll they set up y'all borg in the most serious way did they burn the rest of the people in the cabin i think that's what they did um but anyways man they came through with um um, what do you call it? Um, that dude. Uh, oh, I'm going to brain freeze right now. I can't stop thinking about her. Anyways, when it comes on to at the end when he was trolling y'all Borg and King Horik couldn't believe. I thought he would have came in and was like, 
I don't think I don't think king means king <laughs> in 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 Vikings. Like I don't think you know, I think earls and kings, I think they out of respect. You know what I'm saying? They'll respect the king. But I don't think a king can dictate certain things when it comes on to individual. It's kind of like the United States where you have the president, but the president can't really dictate what happens in a specific state in the country. Like the state is ran by basically the the the, the freaking con congressman and and you know the senate and the governor and the mayor and stuff like that. So it's like it's different. Like the president can't come in unless there's specific specific situations has to happen for the president to be ultimately in charge of everything. You know, you know, in you know what I'm saying like that's why they have executive orders and stuff like that. So it's kind of like I I think that's what I'm understanding from the system of the Vikings and stuff like that. Like cuz I mean, if he was king you know what I'm saying? And he, this alliance was made under his watch. He knows this is happening. So he could have came in and be like, nah, nah, you're not going to kill him. You shouldn't have done this because you just signed an alliance. But he can't say shit. He's just there. He can't say nothing. He couldn't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? So Ragnar went ahead and he's trolling the shit. He looks like he's going to brand the shit out of him. I don't think they're going to kill him. I really don't think they're going to kill him. But... Man, that prophecy came back to bite him in the booty, straight up. Um, that was crazy though. That that was crazy. When, um, that time when King Horik looked through the window and saw Ragnar outside with the eagle, was that an act? Was he actually there, or or he was just seeing like a vision or something? I don't know. But that was that was that was crazy. That was good. So this episode, man. Season 2, Episode 6 of Vikings has to go down as one of the best episodes of Vikings, even till today, even though I haven't watched the rest of the show. Yet, I'm thinking it has to be at least top 3 episodes of the series. But, <sighs> you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, because this episode was hype, and I know... You're probably going to say, man, I can't wait for you to see this one or that one or blah, 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 or whatever. Um, don't spoil anything for me, guys. I'm, you know, I'm still a, still a baby in this series. Um, so, man, I'm looking forward so much because the other seasons, like the later seasons, they have a shit ton of episodes. I think, I think the, I think it's like it goes up after like season three, I think, because I've looked. I've looked at it, not the actual contents of the episode, but I look at how much episodes each season have. And it's like, I think one of the seasons had 19 episodes, and I think they went 20 for the for the last season, I think. So, I don't know what's going on, man. But the series, you guys told me that it's going to get better. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm amazed, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, man. Leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section. I love you guys, man. And I'm telling you, Lagertha is bae, okay? <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. You and Terra Squad, I'm Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next episode of Vikings. Peace.